Hey, good afternoon, traders. This is Trader Tim from eminimind.com. Today is the 8th of May, 2017, doing a Monday market analysis for the week. If we start by looking at the eMini S&P, we are approaching, uh, we are right near those all-time highs. S&P uh, broke those highs today, and if we go to the Globex session, we can see that we opened yesterday evening right at... Uh, right above, rather, that 24.01. So yesterday evening, I'm not really s concerned with the the sell-off that followed. Just the fact that we broke that overnight uh, or that all-time high, rather, is very significant. So if we look at the pattern that we're in, that bull flag, we had the consolidation kind of drawn out this rectangle or box pattern. 2380 to 2390 and now that we're above that even if we look at just trading hours only looking for us to move higher all the way to 2430s 2433.75 is the 50% target if we go over to the individual indices you can see the S&P uh, making new highs the Dow same bull flag pattern, if you will. The NASDAQ, uh, very much uh, trending with a lot of strength. And then the Russell is the weakest one, uh, not making those new highs, but still you know, somewhat of a bull flag, even though the pullback is, is a little bit more significant. If we look at some individual stocks going even further, we can see the run up in Google, uh, very, very strong. Uh, you know, running towards that 1,000 level. If we look at Amazon, we had a really nice break above the high of the low bar. So we have the bull flag. The market pulls back and then break above the high price of the lowest bar in that pullback gives us an entry long, stop below the low. We also had an entry, whoops, entry a little bit further back, a couple of entries uh, with Amazon. But if we move back here, we had a a triangle pattern similar bull flag and right at the apex breaking the high of the low bar if I can get my cursor to not keep clicking and then back here as well pulling back a couple of uh, high of low bar breaks down here that gave us a long entry into Amazon Apple looking very strong had its earnings announcement already, strong volume today on the uh, strong rally. Uh, let's see, we do Netflix, another one, uh, not nearly as clean as, as the Amazon and Google and Apple, but still keeping it on my radar, trending nicely. Um, other stocks like Facebook, kind of just off of earnings, starting to make a triangle pattern. And Home Depot is another one that I've been... Uh, in and out of here that is moving sideways and now breaking out to the upside. On the flip side, breaking down is the volatility index, getting into those single digits, which is uh, very rare for the volatility index. So if we can break 2401s in trading hours only, which I think is likely to happen this week, there's a, called a moderate news week. Uh, we can, we should really see some uh, continued trending up to that 2430 area. If we walk through today's setups on the ES, right off the open, did not get a full retracement. Market uh, rallied up just shy of its 50%. Uh, um, if you were to round down to a 20, uh, 2394.75, uh, typically we call those magic fills if the price does not actually trade through your price. Uh, but every once in a while you get a magic fill. But if you set your order at uh, one tick in front of the 50, so that 94.75, you probably didn't get filled. Uh, following that initial short setup on the morning. We had a couple of really small ones in here, uh, but nonetheless, whether you pass on the small setups, you can see that the market retraces back to the 50 and then 
continues its trend and the significant factor is breaking that swing low if we continue forward the swing high is broken and you have a tiny little low to high now these are so small that if you look at the distance between the 50 and the 61 or the 50 rather in the negative 23 you only have a point from the 50 to your target so risking six to make make four is not a very good risk to reward so that's a good way to um, kind of filter out some setups uh, but just being able to see that you know the setups work whether it's a very very small time frame or a large time frame uh, if we continue forward had a little bit more significant move breaking this swing low down here putting in a new low for the morning pulling back to the 50 and selling off down to the negative 23 percent target very nicely if we draw up the next setup we did have a failure However, there was a reaction at the 50, and whenever we have a 61.8 failure, all that means is we can draw the, the first setup in the opposite direction. So this high up here took out the previous swing high. So we draw from low to highs. Market pulls back. 23.91.75 is the entry. Now, leaving your stop alone for the first point or so, waiting until we break that swing high, having some patience at the start is important because if you do get a double uh, a retest, then that keeps you in the trade so that when the market does break out, then you can be in the bigger move. And then that, that was pretty much into the lunchtime session where we really slowed down and consolidated and in the afternoon. One more long setup that kind of closed us out. But all in all, the markets are looking a lot better than they have been. And typically after the FOMC meeting announcement, that's what we start to see. So we'll be looking at the markets uh, tomorrow morning, uh, walking through the setups in real time. You can check that out, eminimind.com slash VIP. And... Don't forget to subscribe to the Emini Mind YouTube channel for more videos like these, trading insights, and other uh, trade examples. Thanks, everyone. We'll talk to you soon.